authority, meteorologist Mike Stone. Hey, good Sunday morning. This video is showing the winds hitting Mexico's Baja California Peninsula yesterday as Hurricane Hillary made its way towards the state. This was captured from a resort in Cabo San Lucas yesterday morning there. And the surf there is getting even worse. There are hurricane warnings across parts of the western part of the peninsula. And we continue with tropical storm warnings for Southern California. You mentioned this yesterday. It's the first time they've ever had a tropical storm type advisory issued for the state. Doesn't look as impressive on satellite as it did yesterday. This point yesterday, winds were 140 miles an hour, so down to 85. So it's still category one hurricane. Nothing to sneeze at, but it's just not the intensity it was yesterday. It's moving up along the west coast, and as it gets into the the uh, U.S. radar network. You can see at least the northern part of the rain that's heading towards California. I mentioned this yesterday where the hurricane has been. The water temperatures have been in the 80s, but as you get closer to California, the water temperatures are much cooler in the 60s. So hurricanes want ocean water temperature 80 plus. So as it gets away from that warmer water, it's starting to decrease and it's also starting to interact with land a little bit. It should decrease to a tropical storm by later today and move into Southern California and then just become an area of low pressures attracts into the Western United States. They have a high risk though of excessive rainfall, some flooding there. They could get over five inches of rain and there are some sections in this part of California that don't get that much rain in a year and they may also get a few tornadoes there today as well. So a lot going on there in the Pacific, in the Atlantic, a bunch of stuff going on. One little system here trying to develop near Key West moving into the Gulf that may impact Texas. Not a big deal with that. There's one here in the Caribbean which is a good sign of strengthening. This should move up into the northeastern sections of like uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic and move east of the Bahamas. This little splotch that you see there is a new tropical depression that's just going to fizzle away in a little bit and we have more systems in the eastern Atlantic. Looks like none of these will impact the United States except that one that I showed you heading towards Texas.